Hi there. If you're looking to convert your Fusion 2 air gun from CO2 to high pressure air, you come to the right place. So let me show you what this setup will do. Uh, one of the benefits of high pressure air is it's not affected by uh, the temperature like CO2. When it's cold outside, the CO2 pressure is lower. When it gets really hot, the CO2 pressure goes up. Um, another is the you get many more shots uh, at a consistent velo velocity that's higher than possible with CO2. The tank is bigger, and I'll show you what that what that looks like. Um, the third thing is I put some statistics in terms of the actual feet per second in the description below, and also yeah in the in the description information, so you can look and compare just how many shots there are. I, I used. Uh, the data to base that on. So let me show you what this rig looks like here. This is a two liter bottle. It weighs about a, pound, a little over a pound. And this is the bottle part of it here. So this is uh, 200 cc's. Now on top of that bottle is a uh, regulator. Now I'm gonna get some close-ups of the regulator here, but you can see it's got some blowout plugs here in case the uh, pressure gets too high. It also has a gauge that you can see how much is going in here. And this is the fitting where you would pump in the air with, uh, with either a high pressure hand pump, a scuba tank, or an electric pump. On the top of this fitting, so the air is coming out of here and you can see there's a pin here. Inside of this valve, there's a pin. And when you screw it on and tighten it up, the air will stay in this tank here until you screw down this uh, valve here and what that does is it releases the pressure into the line. Now this line here is connected with a foster fitting and it's pretty standard and then this would you know go into the gun. This part of it here is a what's called a slide check valve because once you put pressure in this system and you get done shooting there's still some pressure left in the gun so this check valve here you slide this back and forth and it releases the pressure in the gun so this connects to a fitting here and this is what actually goes into the gun now let me show you let me show you how that's done so that you can see how easy that is now you've probably seen this tube here i'll take that out so this is what the tube looks like there's two co2 cartridges in here so we need to have a fitting that looks like that. And that's basically what that thing there is. You can stick it in here and start to thread it. To tighten it up, we have to get creative because this is a one inch fitting. If you try to slide a socket over there, it's not gonna fit. So what we need to do is remove the stock. And the way we do that is with this, um, an Allen wrench, it's the same size that you use for the scope rings. There's one screw that holds this in. You can see that screw is pretty deep in there because it's the only thing that's holding the stock onto the gun mechanism. All right, so we got the screw out. You can see it's about three quarter inch. So now that the screw is loose, what we can do is just pull this part out carefully and it's free from the gun. So then what we do here is screw this in. Let's take that off to make it easier. Right now. Screw that in. And then when you get to the end there, you can use a, a wrench to tighten it in. You don't have to go too tight because it's, it's already in there. That's it. Let's put it, connect this up now. Stick this back in the gun. Flip it over. Put the screw back in. By the way, as I'm talking about this, one of the things people have complained about is the the tightness of the the cartridges uh, that have the pellets. So one of the things you can do is take some light sandpaper and just sand down the face of the cartridge a little bit and it, it fits, it doesn't take much and it fits really smoothly. All right, so we're good. Now the slide check valve is in there um, and the way, because it's guarded by the, the stock, you just slide your finger in and just move it back and forth to release the air when you're done uh, when you're done shooting the gun. If you want to take off the line, uh, you can just stick a screwdriver, even like a popsicle stick in there to move the, the um, valve back on the foster fitting to get it to fit. So once that's done, then you connect it up to the top of the bottle 
and make sure you know you got some air in it and put it down and away you go and when you're done shooting if, if there's still air left you just undo the valve and it'll stay in the bottle so I've enjoyed figuring out how all the pieces work together and I'm ready to pass this on to another uh, air gun enthusiast uh, who wants to the benefits of converting to HPA thanks for watching